Grab your favorite stickers, a cereal box, some earring findings, and let's make some gorgeous earrings. Hey, let's guys. get started. Okay, so listen, you already saw from the video, you wanna come in, <laughs> that we're gonna be using Dollar Tree stickers, and these are gorgeous. You can still find these at the Dollar Tree. Um, they are fabulous. So I was going to try to use the bases that I have, but they're not large enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own custom base. You're using, you're so cute. Using a cereal box. So what I'm gonna do is just cut out a piece right quick. And we're gonna- Before anyone cuts up, let's ignore the laundry today. in the background. My laundry room is straight behind me and that's where we drop everything that gets folded and, and way, put away. So don't worry about it. Yes, we, we know can, it's back there. I'm, I'm Let's carry on making some earrings. Laundry, the side, that's for so a different we'll time. We'll be painting the cardboard. I've already decided that I'm gonna use this wave. So these are gonna be kind of large size earrings. Y'all got paint all over my hand because I'm working on a painting. I haven't shown you all too much of my artwork unless you've seen my video for my um, office. But let me go ahead, we're gonna put this down. So I'm working on some new paintings for the office and so that's why I paint all over my hand. So we're just gonna put a little bit right here on the back. We're gonna attempt to put a little bit right here on the back. Here we go. So we're putting some of that on the back. We don't need a lot. We just want enough so we can stick it down on the cardboard so these are going to be nice and lightweight at least in my opinion they are you want to make sure you have it straight so that way you're not having to cut anything like after you put it on there so look and now you could leave this spot showing if you didn't want to have to worry about painting the backs of your earrings but i'm just already planning to paint and put a design on the back of mine so these are pretty large stickers so i'm going to put this one at the opposite end Oh, I forgot. Okay, so yeah, remember that these are like the other stickers that I used on the last video. So that means that this piece is going to lift up. So you're gonna wanna lift it up if you're gonna keep the bottom to it. Let's see. This one might not need it, but this one did. So if it lifts up, go ahead and be sure to take it apart. Put your glue inside there and your glue on the back. And then, oh, look, I need to use the same one. Y'all, what am I thinking? I'm talking to y'all too much. Let's go ahead and make two pairs since we're doing that, okay? Okay. Not even using the same sticker. Look, it just goes to show you anybody can make jewelry. Anybody can do this. I'm sure one of y'all would have caught it and been like, it doesn't match. But then at that point, my earrings would have already been made. So look, so since we're doing that, we're just gonna go ahead and make two. So we pop this one open, see what I mean? So you can put your glue on the inside. That way you don't have to worry about it coming apart later. You're gonna put some glue on the back. And because there's a bend in my cardboard over there, I'm gonna use a different side over here. So this is what you should have. That's what it should look like. Your back's just plain cardboard. Now what I'm gonna do is actually let these dry with something sitting on top so they stay flat. But listen, you're also going to need, I'm gonna just put some of this glue over here. You're gonna need any one of the little smaller ones to use as the top for your earring. Now y'all already know that I'm gonna put mine on the slant. So that means that they're gonna hang like this, right? So let me just figure out which one I wanna use. I'm probably gonna match them up. So there's already one that matches that particular base. For the most part, let's, let's pick a different one. I think. This one will match a little bit better. So let's, let's use that one. 
So we're gonna glue that one down. And since there's already some extra glue over there, just gonna go ahead and bring it over here. Put it on the edge, glue it down. I'm just using that to clear off the excess glue. Side. Okay, so then we're gonna get our other one from over here to match it up. So we're actually gonna make two pair. And when you go to cut it off, it won't matter if there's a little bit of excess glue because you're gonna cut it off anyway. So at this point, you should have this. So now, I need to match these up with their little bases. I think I'm gonna go with that one. I think that's close enough. So let's glue those down. And then I'm gonna let these glue for a few, I mean, be down for a few hours. But these are gonna be simple, easy, quick earrings. And then how we're gonna poke a hole in these is using our hole punch. So have a hole punch. I don't know what size this one is, but I'll hold it to the screen so you can see which dot it is. Um, but it pricks a pretty nice, and I threw the packaging in the trash, so I apologize. I don't see anything on here that denotes a number. But anyway, it makes a really decent size hole, so that's what we're gonna use to put holes in the earrings. We're not gonna need the drill today. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear up. Uh, you can work out, Taylor? I'm gonna go ahead, huh? No. I'm just cleaning up the glue from the edges, although we're gonna cut that off. I just don't want it on there. It's the perfectionist in me. So, super cute, see, everything is sealed down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit some books on top of it so they stay nice and flat, and then we'll be back to finish them. Now, what you could do is add paint in here. You could cover it with gloss, you could cover it with resin, you can do all those things, but I just want a simple yarn. So now let's go ahead and make an earring. I'm gonna let that one sit off to dry, so we'll sit those off to the side. So now you already know, we're just gonna open up our jump ring. Y'all notice my fingers have a different color paint, so we're making a different video also for you, but we're waiting on those bases to dry. Now, mind you, this stuff may lift up, from, the sticker may lift up from the cardboard, so just be sure to go back and re-glue if you're selling these, um, which they still should stay connected once you put them together, but I'm just saying if you're a perfectionist and you have some concern about that, then go in and add a little bit of super glue. That way it'll dry really quickly and you can go ahead and mount your business with your earring sales. I wanna find my old jewelry making tools. I think Miriam has them. But I'm like, can I have my good stuff back? These are newer than the ones I'm used to working with. Not new, because you know they look old, but I'm just saying, they're not my original. So then I always put two jump rings, so that, wait, is this one I wanna do? Oh, yeah, I always put two jump rings, so you can be sure that you have a really nice swing to your earring. So, however you do it, it's up to you. But I don't wanna be worried about it spinning the wrong way, you know what I mean, because you don't have it on there properly. That way you have good swing to your earring and it's not like you have to keep fighting with it to turn it back around. Cause I used to twist this part and then these would always break. Now you have broken um, 
ear hooks and it's like a waste of tools and supplies. So now I always add extras. So that way you don't have that. I'm gonna do it for the bottom as well, which means these are gonna be pretty long earrings. And you could do some shorter ones, like if I hadn't put a hole in the bottom, which I did intentionally, but if you don't put a hole in the bottom, then you'll just have this, which those are really nice. Sorry. Right? But I wanna add an extra pizzazz to the bottom because I like things to swing and dangle. hole I put over here by accident. So I'm gonna see if I can do like a dot of gray paint. If that'll cover it up. So I really don't want it to be noticeable, right? So what I did was I just put a little bit of gray paint right there and I'm just gonna wipe it off. I cover it up so from a distance as your earrings are swinging, I don't think anybody's gonna notice that. Right. Okay, so we're gonna let it dry. I don't think anybody will take a new piece. Okay, so what are you gonna <laughs> okay, so now we have painted the backs of everything. They have great coverage too. And the only reason I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the back is just so the paint doesn't um, like start to wipe off as it's swaying and touching your face over time. And so it's not irritating. So I'm going to use the Mod Podge gloss. And I got this from. Um, the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, y'all, let me tell y'all, the Dollar Tree is like on the come up. I'm like, okay, Dollar Tree, I see you. But, which it's already always been that way, but the Dollar Tree really has a lot of great stuff. So I'm just gonna squeeze a smidge bit out. And then we're just gonna do a good covering. I have drilled holes, so I'm not worried about covering the holes up. Um, Cause you can always put the drill back through there. So it just gives a smooth finish. That smells like some good old timey Elmer's glue. That's probably all it is. <laughs> and we're paying extra for it. Just kidding. Just kidding, Mod Podge. I'm good with the, um, what do y'all call that? I can't even think of what I'm trying to say. I'm so hungry. Um, when somebody gives you like a, um, an account with them where you can promote them, I know that y'all know what I'm trying to say. I just can't think of what I'm trying to say. A promo, maybe. So, these are going to be really pretty because the fronts are nice and shiny. So, get to Dollar Tree. Get you all the great stickers that they have. There's so many cool earrings you can make. I have some owls that we might use next. I have so many stickers. It's, like, totally ridiculous. Um, but I do think that with these, it's better to put them on the base of something. So that they can have some um, weight to them, you know what I mean? And so, like, especially if you're gonna sell them, so that way they're more, they'll be more professional in how they're finished off. Okay, so I'm gonna go do these. We're gonna have to let these dry, and then we can put them together. I mean, these were so fast. So literally, this video of making these, gluing it to the bases and everything else, was probably eight minutes, twelve minutes at the most. So I was like, I don't want to drag the video out and make it longer than it needs to be. But you can make these really quickly because I could have painted the back of the whole piece of cardboard, then cut everything out super fast. So you could probably make these, I would say, within one to one and a half hours. You guys, okay, so listen, I've cut everything out. 
Um, as you know, I had glued it to the inside of a cereal box so they could have a backing that they could be secure on. I did have to re-glue some of the edges, so just know that I used the drill to drill holes in the um, earrings. I made a mistake on one of them. I wasn't paying attention and drilled the hole both at the top instead of the bottom when I was using it as a template. So what I did was I filled that with glue. So when we go to um, paint the back of it, hopefully the gray will show through that part and you won't notice that there's a hole there. So plus from a distance, maybe you won't notice either, depending on how they're hanging. So it is what it is. I did make a little mistake on that one. I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks. So anyway, this is how cute see they came out. I just have to paint the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the pasta pens to paint the back. I had pulled out regular paint, but I was like, these are probably dry faster. And then I put holes in the ends of the smaller stickers with the cardboard back so they could be dangles. So they're gonna be really pretty. I think I'm gonna do one pair as a clip on and one pair as, I don't know if I can do a clip on now that I've poked holes in them, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. There's always a way to fix stuff. So I'm just gonna take the pasta pan. I already shook it up. You do have to shake these really well and you have to push them down, so like this. So you have to shake them. You already saw, if you saw my last video, you saw what paint went everywhere. So shake it with the top on and then you push it like that until your white tip becomes saturated with the color of the pen. And then you're ready to go. But I love these. I love how fast they dry. They're super easy to use. And there's a lot of paint in here. So I'm just gonna paint the backs of all of these. You can either stay with me while I do it. I'm gonna speed the camera up a little bit. You don't need to do a lot of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just have something to hold it down. You could use a pair of um, pliers if you want to hold it. You could little, use a little pokey tool. So these are gonna dry really quickly. And then what I'm probably gonna do, just to seal the back, I'm gonna do some Mod Podge, but I love these pins. When I tell you I'm a fan, you could go around the edges if you want to. You really could go around the edges with um, like a gold pen if you wanted to give it a finish. But this is just, if some of your cardboard is still showing, then you could just make sure, you know, your edges are done really well. I'm gonna sit those over there to dry. I'm gonna go do all of these and then we're gonna <clears throat> they came out perfect. So let's finish the other thing. 